following video was requested by Weeaboo Crusher. Alright Battletech fans, for this video we're going to go through the assembly for the Mad Cat Pride, which you can see here I have unopened. You'll also need some Zip Kicker, which you can find at any of, you know, your local game shop, hobby shop made by Zappagap. And then whatever super glue it is that you like. It can be Gorilla Glue, it can be Army Painter Super Glue, it can be Citadel, whatever kind you like. And some other tools you might consider using for an assembly like this is some needle nose tweezers small hand file if you happen to have one, and a pair of wire strippers or clippers of some kind. All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna open this guy up here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a quick stock of all the various materials and things like that, make sure that everything I need is there. So here we've got, looks like the fuselage, you know, the torso. Here is Aiden Pride. <laughs> We're gonna just put him to the side over here. He's just gonna watch. Let's see here. We've got our feet. And then, huh, okay, this is interesting. It looks like the missile pods are connected to the arms here. And in the back, let's see. Right about here, looks like we have our jump jets. Okay, hmm, that might make things a little bit easier, but anyway, I got two arms with two LRM packs on them, that's good. And it looks like on this sprue here, I got both of my legs, and I got the little thingamajigger that the torso goes onto. And this sprue, I think this is kind of interesting, it comes with two extra missile packs, but, you know, because I have them on the arms here, I don't suppose I'll need them. It doesn't come with any extra arms, this is all one piece right here, so I can't imagine what these are for. These things on the side here look like the medium pulse laser, the machine guns, so I'd venture to say that this is complete, so let's get into it. Now, sometimes you're gonna have things like this on the miniature, which is what we call flash, you know, or whatever, so I'm gonna take and just cut that off with my snippers here. If you don't get it, you know, super flush all in one go, that's fine. Take your little file or something similar and just take it and file it down. But ultimately, this isn't going to be anything anybody's going to see anyway, so... Yeah, that seems good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with dry fitting the pieces here to make sure that everything goes where it's supposed to go. So we'll start with the arm here. Yep, alright. Hmm. That might take a little extra effort to get it where I want it to go, but that seems like it'll fit. Okay. So we'll go with the other side now. Huh. See, that side fits a lot better. A lot more flush with the body than uh, this particular one. And I think it's because of this bit right down here, so I'm just going to take my snippers and see if I can't snip some away. Nope. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and I'm going to cut that right off. Then dry fit it again. All right, now we're in business. Yeah. So don't be afraid to modify these things because sometimes, you know, you're going to have to. Now, let's get to the fun part. We're going to glue it. So I'm just going to look and find the little hole in the bit here. And I'm just going to put a tiny little dab of glue on there. Boom. A little goes a real long way, you don't have to worry about it. And once I've made sure that it fits and all that jazz, we're gonna stick it right on there. And uh, 
get it oriented properly. You know, just as straight as I can. Then we'll take our zip kicker and just a tiny little spritz there. And that'll do the trick. Like, hold it for a few seconds and boom. Should be good to go there. So I'll just repeat this process now. One thing I want to warn you about is when your super glue is open, keep your super glue away from the zip kicker. Because if this stuff gets inside here for any reason, you will brick the entire bottle of super glue. Like I'm telling you, this stuff will harden it up so fast your head will spin. So just be careful. When you're spraying, make sure the cap is on that super glue. So I'll put just another little dab on there. Boom. Back to that spot that I wanted it. And you see how the super glue kind of holds it? It's just long enough for me to spray it down and get that zip kicker on there. Now I'm gonna let all that dry. Over here we got our legs and I'll peel it off. A lot of times these things can just be pried free with your hands. You don't really need tools for that necessarily, so don't worry about it. I'm gonna pry a foot off here. Now, these feet, you know, are interchangeable, so you don't have to worry about, you know, getting the correct foot on the correct leg piece or anything like that. They'll go on either. So I'm gonna do the same gimmick here. I'm gonna dry fit the piece. Yep, seems like it'll fit just fine. Pull the cap off my super glue and repeat the process here. Just another little dab of glue. All right, let's get that bad boy on there. With these feet, what you want to try and do is center the shins to the middle of the two toes. Go by this right here, this line, to about the middle of the foot because that's where it's all supposed to go. So it should look just about like that. And then I'll give, give it a little quick shot of zip kicker here. Boom, set that down. And then I'll repeat the process, dry fit, perfect. Little dab of glue. Little dab will do ya. Get that sucker on there. Try the best I can to center it. Boom. And kick it one more time. All right, that should hold that. We'll let that dry for a minute. And now we pull out the torso connector sprue here. But it should look just a little bit like this. And these little prongs right there, that's what's gonna face forward on the torso. So I'll pick up the torso, just give it a quick dry fit, make sure everything's copacetic, yes sir. Little bit of glue, boom. About the size of a pinhead, the amount of glue there. All right. Boom. Pop it on there, give it a little push, a little spray. That should be plenty. Starting to come together. So if you want this mad cat to be in kind of like a static pose, it's not a problem. Just take your legs, dry fit them on there. And then your next step is to try and figure out how you need to glue the joint together and in what position to make it as straight as possible so it'll stand up by itself. Now I still haven't laid down any glue on it yet, but before I do, I like to set it on the table and see where everything is gonna set once I do. And if that looks decent to me, then that's how I'll glue it on there. So I'll just whip out my glue once again, tiny little dab in the socket, boom. Just pop it right back in where I had it, 
And then before I spray it, I'm gonna give it one last little look-see to make sure it's sitting as straight as I can possibly get it. Just trying to make sure it's not listing or anything. And give it a little shot. Legit with that zip kicker, it's just, psh, that's as much as you'll need. You don't need to go overboard with it, you just waste it. All right, legs on there. And that's gonna take a bit of time to dry. It might be a little wobbly, but just give it some time. It'll be fine. And now, just like before, I'll repeat the process, but this time it'll be easier to straighten everything because I have one leg on there already to judge the new leg's position off of. And I'm just gonna make this particular miniature a static standing pose this time around for simplicity's sake. It's kind of like it's in a guard position waiting for a new target to come along. Maybe a little bit of a step there. You can pose these legs almost, you know, any way that you like. One more spritz. And, yep, there it is. It'll stand on its own, so I know it'll be fine on a hex base later. Now I'm gonna take the last bits and I'll just ignore these, and I'll pull the last two guns off here. Pop a dab of glue on there to the connector. And I'm gonna use my needle nose tweezers to put this on since it's so tiny. Just be careful not to squeeze the tweeze too hard or the bit will go flying and you'll never see it again. I'll stick that sucker on there. And if it stays, good. Usually it will, but I'm gonna spray this one too just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And now the process for the other side torso bit is exactly the same as this was, so I won't waste your time going through both. Alright, there we go. Now you've got yourself a Mad Cat Pride. Just find yourself a hex base and you'll be good to go. So remember folks, if you liked this video, please do me a favor and like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment to be a part of the conversation. If you have any video ideas at all you'd like to see, just don't hesitate to let me know. I'll do the best I can to see whether or not it's something I can get made. And as always, thank you for watching. I'm Tuck Davian, and I will see you out on the space lanes. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. Crowdfunding is when lots of people give you small amounts of money to help your passion project come to life.